There is the rat. Oh, his little hands. Oh God. Oh, oh. and welcome to the sims 4 my first pet stuff review first impression overview etc you get it before we begin i do have to say that ea sent me this copy for free for early access and review purposes so now that that's out of the way let's begin so i feel like we're all on the same page here when it comes to how we feel about this as of now I feel like we can all agree that this probably should have came with The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs and that this might be my most brutally honest review yet. So let us just jump in and read the new little thing it gives me. Care for a new pet. Now I am excited about this, don't get me wrong. I'm, it's not that I'm like not happy to have this at all. I am, but I just think that it should have came, you know, obviously with cats and dogs. Uh, but I am excited to have the little critters. I think they are really cute. So it says, add a habitat to your household with all new small pets like a hamster, rat, pygmy hedgehog, or miniature Boobalus? Uh, Bubalus? I'm not sure what that is. Um, have your sims name their new pet and learn how to take care of them. Uh, dress your cats and dogs, which obviously we could do this before, so I'm not really sure why this is like on here. I, I don't know. Show your sims and their pets are made for each other with matching pet outfits like a comfy robe and perfect pajamas. Put a glamorous dress on your feline friend or have your dog don a hat for the right occasion. Okay, so I know that this is kind of new, but like basically they took like base game outfits and put them on the pets also so y'all can match and you know, that kind of thing. I know that that is new. Again, that could have very well just came with cats and dogs or been like a free update. I'm just saying. Uh, decorate with pet prints. Have Sims decorate their living room with uniquely designed decor and possum pet inspired furniture for the kids room. From cute cat pillows for your Sims to bright beds for your cats and dogs, there is something for everyone. Again, I feel like this could have just came with cats and dogs, but I, uh, nevertheless, I am excited to see what is in the pack. So let's go ahead and check it out. So starting off with the Goyles, uh, we actually have three new hairs, which is way more than I thought we were going to have. The first one is, ooh, it has like some, uh, what are these bangs called? They're like a little bit shorter cut than the other ones, but it's very like, uh, my middle school age, like the layered and then like the short fringe, very like scene queen. Does anybody even know what that means anymore? Back in the day, that was like, there was emo phases and then there was this and there was like, yeah. a, I don't know, whatever. Maybe you guys don't even know what I'm talking about. But anyways, this is kind of what it reminds me of. I don't know if I'll personally use it. You know what though? I feel like I'd probably use this more on, yeah, like a teen, which I'm assuming this is kind of based for those uh, age groups, like child and teen, because it's my first pet. You know, you get it. And then there is a second version of that with some very punky looking highlights. So we have a bunch of different colors very interesting colors, I will say. Okay, okay. Yep, there you go. And then the next one, this is actually really cute. I do like this one. We have some very, very, very short curly hair. Uh, they've been really trying to go for the curls lately and I actually am into it. So I, this is very cute. This is a very cute little hair. I can imagine a lot of CC creators are gonna do some really cool stuff with this also. So there you go. I like to see the potential in hairs, like I know that like sometimes, you know, we don't always love them at first, but CC creators get their hands on them and then they just do amazing things, so I don't know. But anyways, that is all the hairs for the women. So now we're gonna move on to the clothes. Okay, we have one new top and it is just like a little t-shirt. Oh, I like the rolled up sleeves and there's a little pocket, very cute. But again, it's gonna be all, you know, pet themed. So we have a cat, we have a dog. This almost looks like a superhero. <laughs> oh, okay, now I really like that one. That's like a calico kind of shirt. We have a rainbow, I don't know if that's supposed to be like Dalmatian spots. That looks like Dalmatians. This just looks like paint. Oh, that one's super cute. That one is actually so cute with the little hamster. I got it, that right there is actually my fave thing so far. And then uh, moving on, it looks like there is going to be some full body outfits. Oh yes, okay. Oh God. It's just as traumatizing as I thought it was going to be. Holy crap. Oh god, it's huge. It's actually massive. Oh, okay, so there's no color swatches or anything. That's the only one. So it's just a giant hamster. 
Although I wouldn't say this is the most practical thing in the game, I, I do think that these kind of additions are kind of funny uh, and they come in handy when you're doing like really goofy stuff. But like, I think it is pretty funny. Scary, yes, but funny also, yeah. Moving on to the boys, they also have the new curly hair also, which I actually think looks great on the boys as well. Uh, so there you go, got some new curly hair and this guy has some rockin' freckles and a rockin' little beard to go with it. So there you go. And for clothes, it looks like they get the same shirt uh, with the same color swatches. Oh, wait a minute. The boys don't get the, the hamster one. What the, what a rip. And then of course, you know, they get this. Okay, so moving on to the children, we're starting with the female goyles, the female goyles. Yeah, that's the same thing twice. Uh, the female children, <laughs> they don't get any new hairs, which I thought was kind of shocking, but then they do get some new clothes. So the first one they get is this little onesie. Oh, I had a feeling. Let's, I wish our hair was kind of up, but anyways, yeah, we got a little hamster right there. Look, I actually think the texturing on this is like it, very intense. It's pretty nice. It actually looks like it's fuzzy, which I'm assuming it's supposed to be. <gasps> Do they put this in here for me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like, honestly, yes. This I like. Very Christmassy. Yes. Um. Oh my god. That moon. Where have I seen that moon before? I've seen him before. He's very creepy. Uh, we have this one. We have... Oh, here's another one. What's this one supposed to be? Is that supposed to be a cat? I'm not sure. Um, we have a bone one for the dogs, a Dalmatian one. We have a lizard one, which I wish we had lizards in this pack. Just saying. We have the calico one, which is still probably my favorite of all the other ones. I really like this one. And then we have a pink and purple polka dot. These are actually really cute little onesies. I actually really like these. And then they get one top, and that is this little, <laughs> little t-shirt with a hamster eating a strawberry, which is amazing. And then what else? Okay. Oh, it's a cat. Oh my god, that took me a second. I didn't see it at the beginning. And then we have, again, the paint splotchiness. And then we have the Dalmatian-y print again. And then it looks like the boys also get the same thing. All right, we have our giant, crazy, scary, scary hamster. So we're going to check out the new objects now. All right, first up, we have three new pre-made rooms. Which, do you guys even use these? I feel like I don't really use them ever. Um, but I, I mean, I like them. It's just, I don't ever see myself actually like using them. I don't know. Maybe if you really, really didn't feel like building, this would be the way to go. But anyways, the first one is sleep time pals. And a lot of this furniture looks like it is for children, but I do love these like blinds. That's super nice. Um, okay. They look pretty cute. Very colorful. Is that a new carpet? New rug? Uh, here is the main event here with the new cage. Very I'm very excited to see this in action, which we will definitely be checking out in a little bit. Looks very cute. Very, again, very like kiddish. So there you go. There's the first room. Very nice. The second one is Hamster's Playground. Um, another very kiddish room. Here we go. Um, I Okay, I am going to say though, this mirror is super cute. And it's like honestly something that I would probably have in my room because I am probably uh, about eight years old in my brain, but like... 23 in real life, 64 at heart. But anyways, here is the uh, the other room. Oh, oh, these come in different sizes. Or is it two? Or I mean one. I mean, what? <laughs> is it one? Wait, oh my God, hello? Is it two blinds put together is what I was trying to ask. Forget it. Oh my Lord, what just happened to me? Oh, look, there's like a new activity table. That's actually really cute. And this chair is, is probably one of my favorite items in the entire pack. I do really love this chair, it's super cute. So, all right, that is the second room. The third one is going to be casually catty. And this one is very interesting. Let's see, it looks like a, oh my God, is that a new cat? <gasps> okay, this, um, this coffee table is actually pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, it's an aquarium. That's pretty cool. I gotta say that it's pretty cool. This couch is rocking my world. Okay, uh, so is this one. Uh, is it just me or does that texture look kind of low quality? Is it supposed to look like that? I don't know, uh, but I do love the little like top pieces. That's, that, I actually really like that. Um, all right, we have a little cluster of pictures, which is very cute. A new litter box. Is that a new door? It looks like it. Uh, we got some new beds. Now this is a very cool dog bowl. It kind of looks like a tree. Very cool. Um, okay, very cool, very cool. What is this? Is this a toy thing? I think so. I'm not really sure. Uh, all right, so, so far it looks 
pretty okay. Again, very like, uh, I would say for kids. But let's check out everything. We're gonna put a wall down because it looks like there is some new wall stuff here, like doors. There's some new doors. We have two new pet doors. So there is the modern, oh, they're modern. Very cool. So there's a doggy door and there's the pupper door. Oh my God, the doggo and the pupper door. I love that. Very, very, very cute. Uh, and then I think, it, I don't know if, the other ones come in these exact colors or not? I, I really don't know. It, I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, there you go. We got some modern doors. So I guess if you wanted to put one in a modern house, now you have that option. Very cool. And it looks like that's it for the build mode. So let's go ahead and jump on into buy mode. All right, where do we begin? Obviously here. So it looks like we have some pet beds. Now this one I actually think is so cute. <laughs> I still think these pet beds look a little bit flat. Like, I don't feel like my pets would be very comfortable in these, but I do think this is very cute. Okay, I love the egg. I think that's so cute. Uh, what else do we have? There's a green one. This is so cute. I love how bright that is. We have a yellow one. Okay, this, that's adorable. We have a monster. Uh, that looks like another little fruity one. I think that's fruity, not 100%. That looks like a steak. Also looks a little bit disturbing. And that looks like a cooked steak. Okay, so that was bed number one. Let's move that over there. Bed number two. Oh, we got a big boy. So this is for the, okay, this one's actually cute. This is uh, this is for the big ones. So I, I really like that one. So cute. So they're all like, oh, that's a, ki oh, look, it's a kitty one. So they have little cat ones too. That one's so cute. Oh, I love that. I told you, eight years old in the brain. <laughs> Uh, that's so cute. Oh my god. Then there's like a little monstery looking one. I love this one though, obviously for, you know, it's me. What did you expect? So now we have this new chair, which I do actually really like. I think it's so cute. So let's see what versions of this they have. It looks like they're, is this supposed to be like, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like the new animals we get. There's a candy one, strawberry one, and a, that looks, that's it. And there's some, some solid ones. I don't really know what the animal's supposed to be. I'm assuming a hamster. Kind of also looks like a mouse. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a hamster. Does it say, oh yeah, it's a hamster. Well, there you go. Uh, okay, so we have a desk chair. I do actually really like this. Again, it looks very kiddish personally to me, but I do like it. Um, is there any patterns? It looks like there's a lot of solids, which is great because I do love the solids. Uh, I guess like the legs on some of these are different, but it looks like one of those like, what is that brand of kid toys? Toy Tyke or something like that? It kind of looks like that with the big chunky legs. But uh, I mean, it's cute nevertheless. I do like cat shaped things. So next we have the couches, which I do think are really, really nice. So I love the pillows on them. I always, always mention that. I do, see, I love those pillows. Those are so cute. Okay, we have a bunch of color options for this. Oh, and we have like pet pillows. Very cute, okay. Love that, very nice. We have like some solid options or you have like some more crazy ones uh, or you have the little pet ones. Very cute, I actually really like that. And then we have this one, which I was very excited for. That is so funny, those pillows. That's actually funny. It's like something I would probably do in my house, let's be honest with ourselves. I wish that you could like merge these together though and make a couch or something or like an L-shaped couch. I'm still waiting for L-shaped couches, okay? I really, really want L-shaped couches. Is that cat dog? Is that a freaking reference to cat dog? I will scream. That was my jam. We're gonna leave it on cat dog. Okay, next we have a tap tap table. It's a, it's an end table. I really like it though. Uh, this one doesn't look so kiddish to me. I mean, it has like those colors that could be in a kid's room, but like to me personally, like that actually looks pretty nice. I would use that in like my normal adult living rooms. Um, I actually really like that. I think that looks super cool. I love the circle tables, those are really nice. Now this I was very excited about was the aquarium coffee table. That is pretty freaking cool. And I, I do believe it's functional, I think. I think, we'll see. I, I believe it's functional, but we have, we'll have to like actually look at that. I think, mm, you can set items down on the surface. Okay, and it says, oh wait, 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 there's already fish in there. We'll, we'll test it in a minute, don't worry about it. The next one is a new desk. This is one of those like single tile desks, which are great because they don't take up a lot of space. This one is very, to me, um, belongs in like a kid room because it does have little paw prints on it. It's very cute though, that's very cute. Oh look, it looks like Yuna. Uh, very, very cute though. 
nevertheless. But yeah, very like kiddish. Uh, and then we have a chow down litter box. Now this litter box is actually pretty cool. If I had a cat, I'd probably get something like this just because it looks so cool. I love that. Even the eyes are two, di two different colors. Very cool. Oh, <laughs> that one's all like meow. <laughs> uh, okay, very cool. I like these. I think it's cute. We'll leave it back on this one. I like this one. And next we have, oh, oh, there's four of them. Oh, okay. I thought you could just like put one down and choose the animal you put in it, but they're actually different. So this one is for the hamsters. I actually don't know if they look different, but this is for the hamsters. So there's like some different color options, you know, you know how it goes. We're going to put on that one. Uh, so that's the hamster one. Let's see if they're different though. This is thimble. So this is for the hedgehog. I have to know if they're different. Oh, it comes with the animal. Look, there's a hamster right there and there's a hedgehog right there. Oh, oh, I see. So I think it is essentially the exact same item, just with different animals inside of them. So I'm assuming these will all be the same. So what's this one? This is the, what is this? Is it a rat or is it a mouse? It's a rat. Okay, so there's a rat in this one, which you can see right there. They put me in the game, can you believe? So we're going to just match them all up right here. And then the last one is, I don't even know what this is. A boobalus? Boobal but I think it's, hmm. I believe, okay, they're void critters, but it's like one come to life. Oh, it's like a ram duck thing. Okay, okay. Actually pretty cool. I like the fact that they put like an exotic animal that's actually not real. I, I find that very fun um, most of the time because I, I feel like it's it's the Sims. You do stuff in the Sims that you can't do in real life. And I like that the fact that they put in a, like a little weird animal. I dig that. Okay, so moving on. We have a wolf box. So uh, is this just like a toy box? I'm, I'm like assuming that's what this is. I think. I don't know. It looks a little bit weird, but I'm not sure what else it would be. I'm assuming it's a toy box. I guess we'll find out in a little bit, but there you go. Uh, next, we have Cubs and Kittens height chart. <laughs> so again, obviously very kiddish, seeing how short it is. Now, I mean, that doesn't say much because I am way shorter than most children, but you know, it's okay. Oh, they actually change. Oh, those are pretty cute. Oh, I like that one. Oh, the bear is so cute. Okay, I like that. Now we have this, um, this th these little decal things that are like really complicated to use. I don't know how you match these things up. Oh, is there a cat in there? Holy crap. Okay, so you have like all the different animals kind of like running through the tubes. And then obviously there's like a bunch, a bunch of different ones. Can you like connect these? How do you connect them? That seems complicated. I'm not smart enough. I'm not smart enough for this. I don't know. I don't know how to connect all these. Am, am I just dumb or like what? I mean, don't answer that. You get it. You get it. They're all decals for the walls. They match up somehow. I don't know how. Next, we have the pet pack. So this is that little group of photos, which I think is actually adorable. Uh, a huge fan. And they change. That's actually so cute. No, I really like this one. I would probably use this in my house. That's probably what my house is going to look like pretty soon, except it's only going to be one animal and it's going to be Yuna. Moving on, we have the cat mirror, which I think is one of my favorite items in the new pack so far. I really dig this. Very cool. I love that. Next, okay, we have the shade. Oh my God, throw shade. <laughs> okay. It was a good choice of words, alrighty, yay. Good choice of words. I, I, I do enjoy the the memes. Okay, let's check this out. So we have like a three, a three tile one, a two tile one, and then the one tile. We're just gonna look at the one tile because it, take it takes up the least amount of space. So is there like just a white? There you go, perfect. I always use that. I feel like that just looks so clean. So again, if you had a kid's room, I feel like that would work. There's some color options for you, but they are very, very nice. I feel like this is a bit more modern. Uh, I feel like in most newer houses, you have like, like thick wooden blinds more than like those real thin ones that they have uh, in the base game. I really like those. I think they look so much nicer. Um, okay, we have a new rug. I love a good rug. Let's let's just, I don't know, put it down right there. Now that looks like someone stepped on your hamster and flattened it out. Oh, it changes uh, shape. There's a ladybug. There's a frog. Uh, oh my God, a turtle. So cute. 
I love these um, like rounded square ones. That's a great shape for a rug, in my opinion. There, and they have solids. You know how much I love a good solid rug. But I will say that I do love this calico one. I'm a huge fan of like this um, this uh, like print. I, I think it looks really cool. I don't know. Uh, and then we have the new feeding bowl, pet bowl thing that looks like it came off of a tree. Go away. Very nice. I actually do think this is pretty cool. Very, very cool little detail. I don't know where they got that idea from, but that is a pretty cool idea. Um, we have a new cat condo, which looks pretty similar to the ones that we already have. There you go. It's pretty, again, it is, it's pretty similar to the ones we already have. But, uh, the next one is the Om Nom Nom cat condo. And this is the one that we saw in the pre-made room. Very cute. I do love these little, like, top, um, sitting areas. I don't know if the cats can actually get up there or not, but it does look pretty. So that's what they were going for. They did a good job on that. Um, what is next? We have a leaping lamp. And we can put it on the... What the? You can put a bunch of things on this table. Who knew? So, <laughs> that's actually a really funny lamp. Yeah, it's actually really funny. Oh, I love the little solid colors. They're super cute. Oh, look. Oh, there's a little tiger. Oh, cute. Okay. Not bad, not bad. And okay, now again, this is probably something I would have in my room. Like, n no shame, dude. But like, it's kind of cute. You gotta admit, like, if you're into that style, it's kind of cute, okay? I do like it. I do, I would like, I, I'd probably buy this in my room and put it in my room. I don't know, man, I like it. I like those cat-shaped things, they're cute, all right? What do we got next? Book Fair Bear. Okay, so it looks like there's a raccoon holding the bookshelf. I do think it is a, a oh my god, it has a tail. I like that detail. Uh, get it? Detail. <laughs> uh, anyways, I do think it is a very cute uh, design. All, again, I, I believe I would never use this outside of a kid's room, but that's fine. I do feel like we have more kids' objects than we do anything else. I, I feel like it's probably just because they're more fun to make than, like, adult objects. Oh, that's a, that's a, these are working shelves. I love when they're working shelves. Can you put things on top of these? No. Okay. Uh, what can I put? Here, we use the desk. This is the last object. Oh, no, it's not. There's one more. So what is this? It's just, oh, it's a toy. Okay, so you got another toy for your kids to play with. And it is a little hamster, as we all knew. And then the last thing is the Cranimals activity table. And I, this is what we saw in one of the pre-made rooms also. I actually do think this is very cute. I love the fact that it's organized. I'm a huge fan of that. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually really like this one. Let's see. Let's check out the different color patterns here. So again, we have the kitties, we have the dogs. And there you go. So all the little patterns on the sides change as well. I like that one a lot. The little rainbow heart, so cute. Again, really, really cute. Not bad. I actually really like, that's probably my favorite activity table out of all of the ones we have. So I believe that is everything. Now, my final verdict. If you are looking for a good kids room stuff pack, this is probably a good option. I do think the items are very cute. Um, and I am very excited to kind of check these out, which we will in a second, but, um, again, I still feel like most of this stuff could have came in cats and dogs very easily. It's really not that much new stuff in the grand scheme of things. It is very cute though. Um, but yeah, I, I just think it could have came with cats and dogs. What the? Okay. This is terrifying over here. I'm not going to lie to you, but okay. First thing I want to see, can't, what? We can't put fish in here? Oh, we get, oh, it's like, okay, there is fish in there. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I was like, as long as there's fish in there, because otherwise, what is the point? So let's check out some of these new pets. Oh my God, I just saw his shadow and was terrified. I actually want to check out the, oh my God. Where, does that thing have eyes? Does it have eyes? I don't know where its eyes are. I don't know where its eyes are. But there's that one, there is the rat Oh, his little hands. Oh, God. Oh, 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 God. No, we're moving on. We have the little hedgehog, which is my personal favorite. I think they're so cute. And then we have the famous hamster. So let's go check out. Let's go check out some of these. Let's check out the hedgehog. We can talk to them. We can release it. 
into the wild? Excuse me? We can play with it, observe it. Feed it a treat. Increases Thimble's hunger, attention, and relationship. What? How do we know what their needs are? They don't have like a spot down here. Let's go see. Oh. Oh, it, it ate it. Do they do things on their own besides just stand there? That's what I want to know. Oh, when you hover over it, it says hunger, full, attention, content. Okay, I see, I see. I get you. You can rename it, you know, clean habitat. Okay, I guess they'll get dirty over time. Do they do anything else besides just stand there, though? I kind of want to, like, see. Oh, they all went at the exact same time. They all went to the wheel. So they're on, like, a timer, guys. They're all in sync. Where's this one, though? Oh, oh, my God. It's up there. <laughs> so this one has a mind of its own. It did not follow the other's direction. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. So it observed it, and it got some moodlets. Rested rodent. Content rodent. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, there she goes. She's up there. Oh, God. She's terrifying. They're all up there now. Oh, you little cutie. Look at those little feet. Oh, my God. Kick those little feet. Oh my god, you can see it's sleeping. That's actually so cute. Okay, I do think this is pretty cool. Um, the fact that we can have these. Again, they're not really like super, super high maintenance, which again, like, I guess that's, you know, realistic. Because in real life, I assume they're not. I haven't really had one myself, to be honest with you. I've never had a hamster or anything. But I'm assuming if you compare them to a cat or a dog, they are extremely less maintenance. Extremely less maintenance. Does that make sense? You get what I mean. What happens if we release them? I don't want to release that one. Let's release the rat. <laughs> it has to be rude, but like, I just want to know what happens. Oh, oh no. Where'd it go? Oh, it's gone. Why did we, that's so weird. Freedom, every rodent dies. Not every rodent really lives. Run free, little one, I believe in you. Wait, what? Did it die? I, I, oh, hello? I'm confused. But we can purchase another one. And it just automatically plops back in there. So there you go. $300 for a rat. But uh, that is pretty much it for this pack. It's not too, uh, not too much going on. My opinion remains the same. I think this could have easily been put into cats and dogs. It really wasn't a ton of content. I feel like if they just were a little bit more patient, you know, and just kind of ex even just extended the release of cats and dogs a little bit to have more content in there. I feel like it's worth it in the end um, to just not have to pay extra money to get so little content. It's very cute content. Don't get me wrong. I like everything that's in this pack, but I don't know if it's worth, you know, what you have to spend on it. But you know, they're a business. I don't know how they run things there. So who knows? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Tell me if you're going to get this pack or not. I am genuinely curious. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this overview slash first impression slash review. I don't know what to call these things. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.